morning, good morning, good morning guys. Hope you're all well. Um, probably not going to upload a workout video today. It's probably just going to be a bit of a spiel of me talking and stuff about how training's going. Um, among, among other things. I'm just having to know because it's bloody hot in the car. Um, training's going fabulous. It really is. Um, did a couple live workouts just there. I had an almighty three people tune into the live workout, so... Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, training. Training's going very, very well. Um, my strength is climbing. I'm repping weights out that I could do a single set of multiple reps. Well, now I'm doing it for multiple sets of multiple reps. So everything, everything is working out as I needed it to. I'm adapting to the training very, very well. And that, that's more what it is. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm stronger at this point. It's just my body's adapted to the training a lot better than, than I was before. So the volume's not killing me as much now, which I'm happy with. I'm very, very happy with in that, in that context of things. Um, on yesterday's work I, I chucked a few more accessories in than what were already on the program uh, did some biceps did some chest flies as well just to just to add a little bit more um, what was gonna say? just add a little bit more diversity a few more challenging movements into my my sets just to give my just give my chest a bit more of a more of a, a pump because I don't want to get to the point where I'm relatively strong but my chest doesn't resemble that so I just wanted to keep on top of that with some flies nice stretch um, but yeah I'm uh, I'm happy with where, with where everything's going um, even two weeks into the program the program I can definitely see the benefit of what of what it actually is and it's fabulous it is absolutely fantastic so i will say this again you want to go powerlifting program the 16 week calgary barbell powerlifting program is the one to go for it's second to none um weight's on point i'm still way over the 100 kg mark i'm a bit less than 110 what I was 110 is about 242. I'm a bit less than that now. I think I'm about 100 and 106. That's not from trying or anything like that. That's just from doing what I'm doing. I'm trying. I'm training more, eating the same. Strength's not being affected, but my weight's come down slightly. You can see with my body composition. Um, I'm out of the picture later. You can see with my body composition that. I'm looking a bit tighter in, in the midsection, chest is feeling good, but my weight is still where I need it to be. It's not it's not effective, if that makes sense. So I'm very, very happy, and to be fair, the less I can weigh, the more impressive my lifts are at that weight. So it's, it swings and roundabouts, really. Um, which, to be fair, you always want it to be more impressive than, than not. Because <clears throat> like, you can find someone who can lift very heavy, but they'll weigh very heavy. So that it doesn't have the same wow factor as if someone is lighter who you lift them. So there we go. Um, but I think I think where we're gonna be in four weeks is gonna be drastically different to what I thought I could have ever been. Um, I keep getting the urge to do some heavy singles. That's that's the thing I keep getting them, <clears throat> and that's off. That's off track, off the, off the plan, so I wouldn't be doing that. But I keep getting the urge to do some heavy, heavy singles, which I know you shouldn't, because you're supposed to supposed to trust the process, should we say? But yeah, it's quite a uh, it's quite an addictive thing when you um, when you see your start climbing and you start doing the single on. As you're warming up, you'll do singles up to your max weight, and then these singles are flying up like there's no weight on your back, and you're like, "Ooh, maybe, just maybe, we could put a bit more weight on that." But I know it'd backfire. I know it would. I know it would do do some backfiring. So we won't we won't push it too much just yet. But just know it is coming. That time is coming where we're gonna start. 
we start getting ready to do some singles, which will be nice. It will be nice. I mean, the, the, the volume on this first four-week block is starting to taper down now. It's gone from doing sets of sets of seven, sets of six, and it's now down to sets of four, which I'll tell you now is a little bit of a godsend because I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to sustain doing that much volume for a strength based program. Um, just went to Medio to finish reversing. Um, but yeah, all all this are uh, where I want them to be, which is which is nice as well. Literally every single lift I'm doing at the moment is where I want it to be and where it needs to be. Um, and I'll put in perspective for you how <clears throat> how impressed I am with my own lifting. So back in 20, 2017, and there's a long time between these, but don't forget I've taken a long time off from training. So back in 20, 2015, 2016, 2017, 120 kg squat was a heavy single for me. 130 kg squat was a goal I was hoping to get and I rep out 120 for multiple sets and multiple reps um, without needing the support of knee sleeves without needing the support of a belt or anything like that I just rep it out for fun so the strength is definitely there that's that's the thing like you can you can look at all different different ways of training but my strength is tenfold better than what it was and guess what I don't care how I look anymore that's that's the difference I don't I don't think oh damn I wish I could look like this I wish I could look like that it doesn't interest me anymore them days of well and truly gone so so yeah I'm very very happy with that <coughs> um <clears throat> if, I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm very proud with where I am um, because my life isn't easy. I'll be honest with you. My life is not straightforward. There's there's all sorts going on. Um, it's it doesn't make anything easier. If anything, everything's a little bit harder. If I'm being honest, um, money's not perfect. I put, I put effort into this and then when you see that some stuff don't do too well you'll end up panicking a bit you're like oh what am I wasting my time doing this for and it's, it's stuff like that, that that do take its toll on you but not to worry still going strong um, but yeah you just gotta you just gotta keep with it keep digging in sort out whatever's going wrong in your life be honest with the people you care about and if you do all them things people are stupid by the way just watching two people as a drive down here now who do, do trying to park i don't get it you can't park for shit like that one of them's going the wrong way out of the one-way system the other one's reversed into a spot that's too small for a car stupid um, but yeah, we're um, we're in a good place. We're um, we're getting stronger. We're feeling good, feeling very very good. Um, this was more this whole thing. If you've watched this all the way through, thank you. But this was more a way of just saying where I'm up to. Thank you for each and every every one of you um, because it does mean a lot when you're all when you're all tuning in and watching and your comments and stuff that you make I I appreciate them I you know I just, just comment away um, I appreciate everything the love hearts the comments that I get and stuff like that it's it's all it's all good and I appreciate everything and it's, I know it's in jest sometimes and stuff so yeah I'm happy with everything I just want to say thank you very much for every every single person all 80 of you now that's that's the big thing 80 people a week ago it was 51 or 55 but now we are at 80 which means 80 people like what i do 
which I find baffling. Because I can't even listen to myself this much. So, no, thank you very, very much. Um, I will keep you all posted on the updates. I might upload the workout later. I'm not sure yet. But the workout is... Pause deadlifts. So... Not my favourite of days. Um, pause deadlifts with 160. Um, slight pause as well. So as soon as it comes off the ground, you're waiting there for a second. Exploding up. Um, I think it's SLDLs, straight leg deadlifts. Um, I think as well. Um, bit of accessory work and then it's tricep variation as well so I'll probably do close grip bench <coughs> or I'll do a JM press JM press is a great movement so it's like a skull cross but you come down to do a close grip bench and then you flick it back so anyway guys I hope you will all have a fantastic day thank you very much for watching I really do appreciate it and I appreciate everything you do um, <coughs> like, comment, subscribe share it if you can i'd appreciate it if you'd share this to get me a few more views um help me grow and again every single one of you thank you very much take care have a good day guys bye bye